something we must understand is Fleming's left hand rule. And for this, we need to use our left hand in this funny shape. You need to remember that Fleming's rule uses conventional current and does not use electron flow. Conventional current is from positive to negative. We use Fleming's left hand rule to work out which direction the coil will push and pull as the electromagnetic field interacts with the magnetic field of the permanent magnet. If we look at a wire and visualize which end is connected to the positive or negative, we can work out the direction of force. To do that, stick your left hand out flat with your palm facing you. Think of these as being your thumb, then fingers 1, 2, 3 and 4. First of all, close fingers 3 and 4. Point finger 2 to the right, so it's perpendicular to your palm. Then point finger 1 straight ahead, and point your thumb upwards. Your second finger points in the direction of conventional current, from positive to negative. Your first finger points in the direction of the permanent magnetic field from north to south. Your thumb will then point in the direction of force. Now I've made a PDF guide for this, which includes some worked examples to help you remember it. You can find links in the video description down below for how to get your copy. So if we look at this example, the conventional current is coming towards us and the magnetic field is going from left to right. So we point our second finger towards us and the first finger in the direction of the magnetic field. Our thumb is therefore pointing upwards, which means the force on the wire will move it upwards. In this example, we have the conventional current reversed in the wire, so it's moving away from us. Therefore, we flip our hand over, so our second finger is pointing away from us. Our first finger still points in the direction of the magnetic field, and our thumb points downward. This means the force on the wire will move it downwards. If we wrap the wire into a coil, how will the forces act now? Well, we need to consider the coil as two halves. On the left half, the conventional current is flowing away from us. So our hand flips, and we see we get a downward force. On the right side, the conventional current is flowing towards us, so the force is upward. Therefore, we have a combined upward and downward force, so the coil will rotate. Okay guys, that's it for this video, but to continue your learning, then check out one of the videos on screen now, and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, as well as theengineeringmindset.com.